Today's date is February 26th, 2024. And since the last video, Steve was able to get our live center and all of this stuff off of the, um, off of the bed of our lathe. And uh, what I'm gonna be doing today is getting this cleaned up and oiled and get, try to wash off most of the grease so we can paint it. We wanna clean this up a little bit. Uh, this is uh, with the back housing off of there. So I'm gonna look to see if I can find uh, how to, uh, when, I when we connect up the three phase power, I gotta get the rotation right. And that's true for the mill as well. So it's so windy out here. I was gonna open the doors, but I don't think I will. I'm just gonna stay focused on getting this stuff straightened out. Uh, I wanna get, to, um, when Peter gets back, I'm gonna, we're gonna get the um, disc grinder up. And I, th I thought we had a belt sander here, but I don't see it. And this is our saw. So the problem that we're gonna have here is trying to keep uh, this width so, so that the floor is clear if we need to move stuff to the backyard there. So um, basically I'm gonna stay focused on um, getting this machine cleaned up and um, we have this uh, engine hoist here so we can lift these heads for the mill. And um, I'm gonna wait until the guys get back. We're gonna take this uh, phase inverter here and uh, put new bearings in it because when we, uh, when, when we bought the uh, mill, this was making all kinds of noise and that was part of the upfront knowledge of what's going on. So, um, in any case, I'm gonna be working on the lathe here today and uh, get this cleaned up. So uh, I'll do an update later. Okay, <clears throat> so I uh, was able to move the rotary table, the rotary head right here. I got that lifted up. I put together the, uh, anyway, it's not a big deal to put the hoist together. <laughs> And it looks like we'll be able to use this to support the weight when we move this back to being vertical. There are several guys that were doing that when we moved it. So uh, we're gonna be rotating this head when uh, Peter gets back. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this machine up and running and in position. This isn't the position it's gonna stay in. So in the interim, I'm getting, uh, I got some things cleaned up uh, real quick. This was a, kind of a mess out here. So as you can see in the water there, I got this all washed off and then I'll run a magnet out there in the dirt to uh, get any uh, welding rods or anything up. So uh, we're gradually getting this clean. I'm going to, uh, it's about four o'clock, so I'm gonna shut down the shop right now. And uh, tomorrow I'll probably be working up here in the mezzanine, I don't know yet. Maybe that end down there, that might be a better location to keep uh, my jet stuff. So anyway, I'll be back manana. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, today's date is February 27th. 2024 and <coughs> excuse me uh, I'm gonna move uh, some of my um, detonation engine stuff over here and um, this is a a, um, a hydraulic uh, frame straightening tool here so um, this is what I'm gonna try and get done today I got to sweep this floor get this out of here clean this tray up, I'm going to, um, I gotta wrap up the motor and the, elect the electrical stuff here. It's kind of a bummer that this uh, drum switch is all exposed. It should have a cover on it. 
see so you can see this right here it should be a pretty long cover and it's just out in the open so what I'm gonna do is still got a mess under this a lot of sand and everything even right here where the where the head is so um, anyway I'm gonna wrap this all up and start degreasing everything getting it ready to be painted so there's that then um, we've got our live center there, so I'm going to see what it takes to uh, get our uh, live center up there. And then um, we got to pull this motor apart and put new bearings in, so I need to see what is going to be entailed with that. I'm just going to pull this cover off, either the front or the rear, and uh, see what that's going to take to get that going. So there's a lot on the list here. This is my degreaser. This is uh, gasoline, Tide, and water. It's a water-soluble sol uh, solvent that degreases everything. You'll see how this looks after I'm done. Then tomorrow we'll probably be looking at what we can do to get this ready to get up and running. I put the hoist here because this is a really heavy so um, uh, I validated that this will be able to reach and hold that up while we um, twist it over into the vertical position and that's pretty much it in a nutshell I'm gonna be just working in here and getting this all cleared up uh, maybe later I might get all these tumbleweeds out of here you know, we got to pull those over into the corner. And I got to make space here for the oven. So we got a few things to do here. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, um, I'm uh, washing this off right now, so uh, I'm just using the hose right here, as you can see. And uh, you, this degreaser is so awesome. So uh, what I'm doing is, is all of this is going down here in this five gallon bucket. And uh, so the gasoline tight and water solution is doing what it's supposed to. So I'm gonna get these ways cleaned up right here and clean off the, the I think it's called a caddy, I don't know. I'm not a machinist, I'm a propulsionist. Anyway, I'm getting the machine all cleaned up and degreased. And then uh, when Steve and uh, can't, uh, dang, Peter get back. We'll uh, be working on getting some power to this and get this motor up and running. And this will be the first piece of the equipment we get running. So, anyway, the uh, just washing all this off. It's just tied. So, as you can see, it's cleaning it up pretty good. So, uh, anyway, that's the update. Well, <clears throat> I'm close to the end of today, but uh, I think from the first part of the video, this is still in the process. I, um, I got a, it looks, it feels like these ways are rusted up. So we got to work on getting this loosened up and uh, so this can traverse north and south and then uh, this is the rotary so i took that 
tool holder there. So this rotates, that allows you to rotate this on the bed. But this is all real tight and everything, so we're gonna have to spend some time freeing all this stuff up. Fortunately, the, um, the carriage moves pretty good, so and I, these were all covered up with crud and everything, these oilers right here, to oil the ways. So um, we gotta get some whey oil and all that stuff. And uh, it's moving a hundred times better than it was before. So, um, and I got the ways pretty much cleaned out. So we'll see how this progresses tomorrow. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to just lock up the shop. I don't know if you can see out here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I got a bunch of tumbleweeds up against the fence. And um, we're gradually getting this uh, cleaned up and straightened out. The... Uh, I don't know. See, the, when when Peter gets here tomorrow, we're going to straighten his head out. And uh, it's like all these other projects. You keep plugging away at it, and then eventually it's all done. So uh, this is the end of this video.